In the west of the Pacific Ocean lies the deepest trench that has ever been found. It's almost seven miles deep, which means that if the depth was compared to the height of Mount Everest, it would surpass the mountain by almost 1.5 miles. At the bottom of the trench, the water exerts such massive pressure that the only way to get a sense of the force on shore would be to load 50 large jets onto a single person. The Challenger Deep is the part of the Mariana Trench that is the deepest part of the ocean, and on its own, Challenger Deep measures around 1,000 feet deep. The complete darkness, the ridiculous pressure, and the scarce food at the bottom of this trench would mean no life could possibly exist there. But that's not true. Despite the extreme conditions of the trench, life still manages to dwell there. That anything could manage to survive here is a testament to the variety and incredible mechanisms that allow life to flourish in so many different locations. Because the materials for survival are so scarce here, organisms must make do with different resources. They may end up consuming chemicals, since other organic food sources may not be in great supply. Dead plankton is an option, but it takes a while for the dead plankton to sink thousands of feet into Challenger Deep so organisms cannot spend a lot of time waiting for the bodies to make it to the low end. Here are five incredible life forms that can be found in this extreme location. As always, sit back and enjoy the wonders of our incredible planet. Gigantic Amoeba To get a sense of how strange and amazing this find really is, consider the size of a non-oceanic amoeba. Amoeba are single-cell organisms that live anywhere from lakes to animal intestines. A common amoeba, named Amoeba proteus, is usually about 250 to 750 microns large, or less than 0.03 of an inch. In other words, you cannot usually see them, they are often microscopic. So imagine being able to see a huge amoeba without the aid of a microscope. That is what researchers from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego found in the Mariana Trench. Some of these gigantic amoebas were about four inches long. They are called xenophyophores and are only found in deep sea environments. They are also very abundant on the sea floor. Researchers believe that they may be the largest single-celled organism in existence. They trap particles from the water around them and accumulate high levels of lead, mercury, and uranium in their bodies. This makes them highly resistant to heavy metals. But despite this, and the fact they are big enough to grasp in your hand, they are very fragile, and it's still surprising to find them so deep in the Mariana Trench. Take a look at this incredible footage of them. Mariana Snailfish This is another species that is not well known, and the fact that they can be found in the deepest trench known to man makes them that much more mysterious. There are hundreds of species of snailfish, several other species that have been observed but undescribed. They have tadpole-shaped bodies and can be found from shallow places to deep sea areas. This variance in depth makes them unlike any other kind of fish we know. Each trench has its own snailfish species, including the Mariana Trench, and the snailfish found there may be a new species of snailfish altogether. They appear to be jelly-like and coloured pale pink and seem to be extremely fragile, almost as though they are made of tissue paper. In 2008, it was thought that snailfish living in the Japan Trench were the deepest living fish. These species seem to have adapted to the crushing pressures of living so deep beneath the surface and before the discovery in Japan, snailfish were also found in Puerto Rico Trench. You would think that any kind of fish living in such extreme places would be lethargic creatures, but the snailfish discovered in both the Japan Trench and the Mariana Trench seem incredibly lively and very active, and even appear to thrive in the extreme pressure. The sensitive receptors on their nose help them navigate and hunt in total darkness. Take a look at these extraordinary delicate looking creatures that wouldn't survive if they were brought to the surface. Mm -hmm. 
white shrimp. In 1960, the Bathyscap Trieste sea vessel descended to the Challenger Deep to locate any interesting finds. The researchers on board, Walsh and Picard, found a diatom-rich blanket of material covering the floor of the sea, along with some shrimp. They were among the few people who have witnessed the depths of the Mariana Trench firsthand. Although sadly, they were unable to produce photographs at the time of the creatures they witnessed. However, in 2017, new photographic evidence of shrimp living in the depths of the trench emerged. Scientists were able to capture footage of a live stylodactylid shrimp on the seafloor. This is not a commonly known species, and what we used to know about it had to be observed from a single compromised specimen. It uses its legs as a filter basket to capture particles. This behavior has been observed in crabs, but is usually unusual in shrimps. This shows how unique this particular specimen is. Other shrimp species typically tend to use their limbs to pull food to their mouths piece by piece. The discovery of this shrimp opens up the possibility that there may be other unique species of shrimp in the trench. Take a look at this little wonder of nature. Sea Cucumbers Sea cucumbers inhabit a wide range of oceanic climates. Some inhabit shallow parts of the ocean and others deep sea environments. Back in 1960, when Walsh and Picard witnessed organisms in the Mariana Trench that resembled sea cucumbers, they were not clear on what they were. However, with advances in technology and science, there are now photographs and footage that extensively document the wealth of sea cucumber life in the Mariana Trench. Throughout the world, there are over a thousand species of sea cucumber, and now we know that they are also abundant in the deepest part of the ocean. Sea cucumbers are scavengers who move along the sea floor and feed on tiny particles of algae or microscopic animals that they collect with their tube feet. They grind down these particles to smaller pieces that are further broken down by bacteria and discarded back into the ocean to become part of the ocean's nutrient cycle. Some sea cucumbers have been found to process more than 130 kilograms of sediment per year. So these strange little creatures are an important part of sea life in effect, they filter the seabeds. But they are not just bottom dwellers, they can also swim, and many of the images taken of them near the trench show them majestically moving in the water. Take a look. Jellyfish. In 2016, scientists aboard a research vessel found footage of an extremely beautiful glowing jellyfish located near Mariana Trench. Nothing like it had ever been seen before. It's still not completely understood, but scientists believe that it does not grow the way most jellyfish do, who normally remain in a polyp phase before developing into a form that can drift. They believe this species may spend its entire life floating in the ocean. It currently has no name, and it's hard to tell what the glowing parts are, but they may be reproductive glands. This beautiful footage of the unknown jellyfish shows it with extended tentacles, indicating that it's in a predatory position and wants to catch prey. Take a look at this incredible creature. So that's five amazing life forms that can be found in the deepest part of the ocean. This world and everything on it never fails to amaze. You just need to know where to find it. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.